Hi again, this time I am talking about the Split Ender Pro 2. My friend Alison lent this to me because she wanted to find out how it worked, um, and so now after a few months I have gotten around to doing this video. So this is actually a really clever device that cuts off your split ends. So all you do is you run your hair through it and it will chop off a tiny bit of the end of every hair. So if you have layered hair you can't just cut off all your, your split ends like that because you've got ends everywhere and so a whole bunch of them are frayed all through the length. So the way this works is if you bend hair Hair is a bit stiff and so the ends will stick up. So let me show you. So if we take a strand of hair, I'll probably refilm this and zoom in. If you take a bunch of hair like that, no focus. Yeah, if you take a bunch of hair like that and you bend it, then you can see that some ends will start standing up. And so you can see as I pull the hair strand through, little ends start sticking up as we go through. So if you have a, a thin enough um, chunk of hair, then and you run it through a bend like that, then eventually all of the little strands will stick up at some point. So that's essentially how the Split Ender Pro works. We have a mechanism here that bends the hair, so the hair goes down, up, down. And then so the little hair bits will stick up somewhere at the top of this piece. And so in, ah! Um, so inside there we've got trimmer blades. So these are the ones that um, barbers use for shorter hair. Uh, for men, for example, when they're doing fades, that just, there's just a whole bunch of blades doing this. And so you can snip the hair um, without moving it very much. So this cuts only um, a quarter inch or 0.6 centimeters off the end of every piece of hair that sticks up as you run this through. Okay, so here is the whiteboard version of how it works. So you have a hair plate, which is the base piece. That's the base piece that bends the hair. Your hair goes through like this. So that is a strand that's longer than the length of the hair plate. If you have a strand where the end is in the middle of the hair plate, it sticks up. And then you also have blades. So there are two arrows on the Split Ender Pro, which determines which of these two plates is activated. Um, so it depends on which way the hair is going. This time the hair is going through that way. And so this plate will be activated. So this is one of the blades. So that chops off whatever hair is sticking up and that stays inside that compartment with the clear window. Um, so the extra design on this, you've also got little little brush bits, little combs that make sure that the hair gets spread out um, and goes through straight so that each piece has a better chance of sticking up and getting chopped at the end. So cleverly there's actually a rechargeable battery handle. Um, I've charged it last night so hopefully this works. So you line up the arrows um, on there, snap it in, rotate it and then it locks. Um, so you use this on clean dry hair. If you have residue on your hair from styling products, then it can make your hair strands stick together and so they don't have a chance to stick up properly. So it won't work as well. So what you're meant to do is run this through your hair three times. Um, so I've actually copied the instructions here so I don't completely destroy my hair. Um, so you have clean and dry hair, you put it into the jaw. There's like a lock there, you put it into the jaw and then you press the arrow pointing to the ground. Oh, and that starts the blades. And so now you run it through like a hot iron. And that doesn't feel like it's doing very much, but you can actually, if you feel very carefully, you can feel little bits getting snipped off. So theoretically, I should be able to open this and see a bunch of split ends. 
Well, I can certainly see a bunch of ends. Um, so yeah, so this can't really distinguish between a split end and a not split end, it's just whatever pops up gets chopped. Um, so you're meant to run each piece through three times and that will get rid of the ends. So let me try that again. So because of the way it works, it doesn't matter that my hair is curled because this actually is quite firm. It pulls your hair quite tightly. Um, so it pulls it straight so that it can um, stick those bits up and you won't get random curls coming off. And so from looking at this, it does actually look like I don't have any more split ends, which is nice. I'm actually quite impressed by the fact that it seems to work quite well on the end. Um, I think because it's pulling so hard, um, it's actually trapped quite strongly. Um, so because it's pulling so hard, the ends will actually work as well. All right, let's have a look inside our compartment. Lock that. So inside the compartment, most of the pieces that have been chopped off are very, very short. So yeah, I think the 0.6 um, centimeter thing is quite correct. But there are a few pieces that are significantly longer. So this one, I estimate, is actually about an inch long. And I reckon that is from the end, because as the end is getting pulled through, by the time you get to the very end, the end bits don't have anything trapping down there and so you're just going to get a giant chunk sticking up. Um, so yeah, that is the Split Ender Pro 2 and how it works. Thank you to Alison for lending this to me.